Behold, today we are going to find out what's your worth financially. Do you want to know? Come along, let's calculate together! Hello, beautiful people! It's Tatiana Ivleva and my faithful friend Pekka and we are welcoming you on our channel People Living. Here we talk about personal finance, personal growth and all that cool stuff. If you want to know more, subscribe, hit the bell button and please share with those who can benefit from these kind of videos. Let's spread the knowledge, let's spread the wealth. Okay, this is such a fun topic, we'll calculate how much overall wealth do we have? Uh, maybe it's a minus? Let's find out how we do that. So we need to calculate our net worth. What do we worth? Net. <laughs> so how do we calculate our net worth? That's easy. Easy. Assets minus liabilities. What is that? <laughs> That's easy, easy. Assets is what you own and liabilities is what you owe. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. In English, these words are so close. So what exactly can be here in the assets? It can be your house, rental properties, a car. It can be your business or maybe some expensive equipment. Everything that has a market value, everything that you can sell. And liabilities can be your debts, your mortgage, anything that you owe to other people, credit card debts, you name it. When I tried to explain to my husband what that is, he said that uh, it's net worth, it's like kind of you die now <laughs> and everything is sold and matched and that's what you get. That's your net worth. <laughs> it's kind of a sad example but yeah kind of true yeah you close all your debts you sell all the properties and that's what's left is your net worth so let's calculate net worth of our imaginary friend let's say it's amelia she has a house that's worth 180 thousand dollars or euros it's up to you then she has a car value is 25,000 so if she was to sell it today that will be the price and that's about it on the side of her assets and let's go to liabilities in liabilities she still has mortgage for her house and it is 160,000 and she has a car debt yeah she doesn't own it like the whole and that's 20,000 Ah, uh, she also has a credit card debt, 5,000. And let's stop here. <laughs> Otherwise, the picture won't be so nice. So what do we have here? So this is our plus and this is our minus. That's what we sum and that's what we subtract. So here's 20, 5 is plus and 5 minus. So it's 20. Her net worth is $20,000 or euros and it's here on the plus side so she's great <laughs> she's doing good <laughs> this is not very nice but she has what she has <laughs> and she's in the surplus so but let's say she has also a student loan we usually don't have it here i live in finland but in the united states they do have and they have them a lot so let's say she has like 30,000 in student loan. So 30 is here, that's, that's her liabilities. And what do we have? We have minus 10,000. So her net worth is negative. She has negative net worth. And that's pretty sad. <laughs> So what's the idea here? The idea is that you increase your assets and decrease your liabilities. Increase this part and decrease this part. In order to increase your assets, you acquire more assets. Uh, I haven't mentioned, but you can have assets also in the money, in the money itself. So you can have 
uh, some savings in Marin. That's your assets as well. You can have investments into stocks. That's your assets as well. Uh, stocks, mutual funds, um, anything <laughs> that has value that will go here. And to decrease your liabilities, you just pay off your debts, pay off everything you owe. And this way you will attract more here and less to subtract. So who, who do you think have the biggest net worth? You would probably think that the biggest net worth have those people who have big salaries, who earn lots of money. Though it can be true, but it is not always true. Because how much you earn doesn't necessarily show how much you save. Because earning and accumulating and saving are totally different beasts. And maybe, as you know, many of the millionaires in the United States, for example, didn't even have a six-figure salary. They have pretty modest earnings, but they manage their money in a very good way. They invested, they made smart decisions with the money they had, and they became wealthy. So you can give it a shot as well. It's not always earning a lot of money. It's also managing it that matters. So uh, calculating net worth is a very good tool if you want to know whether you're on track with your wealth building and financial stability building or not. Calculate it maybe once a quarter or twice a year and you will see whether you're progressing with it or not. You can also have maybe a friend who is interested in building wealth and you can track your net worth together. I don't mean compare with each other. <laughs> that can be not healthy sometimes. But compare with your previous state and maybe share your achievements with each other. If we are surrounded with like-minded individuals, it's so much easier to progress in whatever you do. So if you find my video interesting and useful, or maybe you know someone who will benefit from this video and would like to calculate its net worth as well, <laughs> please share this video and hit the like, subscribe and bell button and see you next Friday.